So, at this very moment, Dash to Dock does not support GNOME 40. However, because of open source, people have taken it upon themselves to fork the Dash to Dock extension and create their own version for the time being. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install it. Now, in the description, I will leave a link to this specific pull request. Someone took it upon themselves to show you how you can install it. So, what you're going to want to do is git clone this specific fork right here. Now, it's not going to be the same as you would see in your terminal, because I already have this installed, but you're going to want to git clone the repository. You're going to want to open up the folder. You're going to want to git checkout, and then make, and then make install. Once you do that, what you're going to want to do, the instructions differ varying on what display server you're using. Um, what you're going to want to do if you're on Xorg is run a command, press R, and then refresh GNOME shell, or if you're on Wayland, you're just going to have to log out and log back in. There is no way to refresh the shell without. Uh, but at any rate, once you do that, you will be able to go into your extensions, and then you'll find it right here. Now, there are tiny little things which don't work yet. We can still put it on the left, on the top, on the right, on the bottom, and all that. We can still mess with the size of certain icons. Um, but some things like built-in themes, um, stuff like that, don't work yet. We can't blame the developers for that. Um, GTK4 and GNOME 40 um, are still relatively new. Um, but things like Intelligent Auto-Hide and all of that still work. And to be perfectly honest with you, this is this is fine enough for me. All I really wanted was a simple dock. Um, but yeah, I hope that this tutorial was of use to you, and uh, happy Dash to Docking.